Welcome everybody, I am Dr. Kirsch and I am delighted to bring to all of you a formal and efficient workout plan for each of the six major muscle groups. In my experience, I have witnessed on so many occasions, people do the same common exercises when partaking in any resistance training program. The typical exercises such as the flat bench press, the regular grip lat pull down, the overhead press, or a tricep straight bar push down. Now all of these are very good exercises, but a problem that exists with many people inexperienced with resistance training is not understanding how to develop the entire muscle. Repeating the same exercises over and over and not seeing results. Each of the major muscle groups have multiple muscles and consistently performing the basic traditional exercises may help, but not adjusting to incorporate different exercises, utilizing different grips, as well as altering workout routines one may lose out on tone, size, strength, and power. For our first exercise in our back workout, we have elected to use the plate-loaded T-Row machine. This will target the middle, thick part of the back. Rudy's already selected his weight. He's in position. His feet are firmly on the lower level because he's got longer legs. As he grips the handles, he will allow the weight to drop straight down. And then using the same three to one ratio, uh, as we lower the weight, three seconds, that eccentric, that'll get a stretch and rip and tear that muscle. And then on the upward pull, it's a one second concentric to contract that back as well. For our second exercise for our back workout, we are gonna perform the wide grip lat pull down. This will focus on the outer layer of the lats and help form that V look for the back muscle. Rudy's already adjusted the leg lever, so a couple points of technique for this exercise as we grip the bar our hands are going to be in a wide position as we get set we will sit place our knees underneath the lever make sure our feet are uh, firm on the ground the last point for this technique is as we contract and we bring the bar towards us we want to be right above the nipple line the middle part of the chest and we want to drive our elbows into our back this will help create a greater contraction and then on the way up, again, the eccentric negative, nice and controlled and slow. This is where the stretch occurs and more ripping and tearing of the muscle will take place. Make sure we're fully controlled of this exercise. For our third exercise in our back workout, we're gonna stay with the lat pull down. However, we're just gonna change the grip. This is called a reverse grip lat pull down. This will provide a better stretch for the eccentric movement and give us greater range of motion for the entire lat itself. Rudy's already adjusted the leg lever, so as we stand to put our hand on the bar, you will reverse the grip. This is called a supination grip. Thumbs are facing outwards about the middle part of the bar. As he gets sit, as he sits, his feet are firmly uh, locked in the leg lever. His feet are uh, flat on the ground. And as you can see already in the position with straight arms, he has a stretch going right there uh, for that lat area. So as he pulls towards them, the concentric contraction of that muscle, elbows go behind, that will provide a great contraction for that. And then as we go up, let the weight pull us up and get a great stretch, slow and controlled there. That's where more rip and tear happens with the muscle and provides a greater range of motion, as you can see for the lat all the way up. You see the lat exposed right there. And then we come down, throw our elbows back, keeping them in for the better contraction as well. For our final exercise in our back workout, we will be performing the standing low row on a cable cross machine using the inner grip apparatus. This will target all the muscles within the back, but in particular will help shape the bottom section of the lat with the low to high movement row. Rudy's already adjusted the cable to be in the lowest level. He has selected his weight and he has already attached his inner grip apparatus. So as he picks up the inner grip, he will step back a few steps. He will be about shoulder width apart and then hip hinge and have a slight bend in his knee, making sure the back is very straight and his head is up. He will extend his arms fully and as he pulls the grip towards him, his elbows stay in to provide that contraction and then he allows the weight to then stretch his lat but in a controlled motion. So again, as you can see, the concentric positive one, elbows are drawn back to contract that lats that low to high motion will target the lower part of the lat but then we get the whole extension of the eccentric with a slow stretch thank you for reviewing our workout videos 
Understand that there are other exercises that you can use in your workouts. However, it's about developing the entire muscle group. Your goal, whether it's endurance or hypertrophy, now will be the base for setting your repetition, how many sets, and how many exercises you will perform in each of your workouts. Thank you again. Thank you.